In a letter from Ukraine's UN envoy to the Secretary General, Ambassador Sergei Kitslitsia claims that in late August, Mahaja and Shahed series unmanned aerial vehicles were transferred to Russia in violation of Security Council Resolution 2231, which endorsed the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. But both Russia and Iran have rejected this. No arms transfers in violation of Resolution 2231 have been ever conducted by Iran, and no drones were supplied by Iran to Russia for the use in the, in the conflict in Ukraine. And I would recommend that you do not underestimate technological capabilities of the Russian drone industry. I can tell you we know what we do and we know how to do it. As I said, the situation around the drones has no real link to the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2231. But it is even more absurd and hypocritical that the allegations against Iran and Russia come from the country which, which is itself in flagrant violation of this resolution. As you know, the United States has been violating it for four years now, since they unilaterally withdrew from the JCPOE in 2018. Earlier this week, the Secretary-General spokesperson said that as a matter of policy, the Secretariat was always ready to examine and analyze any information brought to it by member states, a comment that drew the ire of the Russian envoy. They have neither mandate nor expertise to do so. After the Secretariat digs something or other studies whatever ready-made is handed to it by the West, they try to present it as the conclusions of the Secretary-General. This is very unprofessional and casts a shadow on its authority. We hope that the Secretariat and the Secretary-General himself will not again violate the decisions of the UN Security Council and will not go beyond their technical mandate and will abstain from engaging in any, any illegitimate investigation. Otherwise, we will have to reassess our collaboration with them, which is hardly in anyone's interests. The United States, joined by the United Kingdom and France, have called for an expert briefing on the drones, arguing there was ample evidence that Russia was using Iranian-made UAVs to attack critical civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. We have been warning since July uh, that Iran was planning to sell UAVs uh, to Russia for use uh, against Ukraine. Uh, we also exposed publicly that Russia has received drones from Iran, uh, that this was part of Russia's plan to import hundreds of Iranian UAVs of various types, and that Russian operators continue to receive training in Iran on how to use these systems. Iran's ambassador said his country had consistently advocated for peace in Ukraine. Iran categorically rejected unfounded and unsubstantiated claims that Iran has transferred UAVs for the use of the conflict in Ukraine. It is recently disappointing that to pursue the political agenda, these states are trying to launch a disinformation campaign against Iran. Ukraine and Western allies argue that Resolution 2231 includes restrictions on missiles and related technology transfers from Iran until October 2023. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.